I just stopped off here to make my lunch and I thought I would pass further comment on how the Pirelli tyres were doing that I fitted to my pickup. Um, some may recall or may be interested in the fact that I fitted the Pirelli All Terrain Plus tyres to it, which they aren't dead common, but um, I find them very excellent. I replaced um, BF Goodridge tyres with these Pirellis, and previous to that I had Yokohama ATS, so I can only really directly compare the three. And I would say on sort of mucky tracks like this, you know, not much mud, but a wee bit slithery, um, stony, um, the Pirellis are certainly have seemed to be better than the uh, the BF Goodridge's or even the Yokohama's. Now, um, the Yokohama's, I would say, were a, a slightly better on the road maybe than the Pirellis, but the Pirellis are great on the road, I've got to say, having taken the... Uh, BF Goodridge is off, it's such a relief um, on a wet road or even a wet track, you know, when you get the stony track wet even, um, it's, a, it's a relief to have tyres that aren't going to spin or slide sideways into the ditch on even the slightest incline. So I'm very pleased with them. Um, they're certainly well worth a look if you're looking for all-terrain tyres. Um, I would rate them above the BF Goodridges. Now, I, can, I mean, the BF Goodridges have a deeper tread and more space, so they must be better in deep, thick mud. They, they really must. But for most use, I've got to say these are ahead. I haven't tried them in snow yet. They were reasonable on sort of ice the other night, but they haven't really had a test at that. Um, they get a good reputation in snow, um, and again the BF Goodridges were terrible, but the Yokohamas were great on the snow as well. So we'll, so we'll see how it pans out, but hopefully maybe this information is helpful to somebody who's looking for tyres, that maybe it gives you another model to add to your, to your list, just for your investigations.